I just realized that I wasted 400 euros on a wrong booking for Berlin. Oh, hey, look at that dumbass! One week ago, he left his home in Italy to drive across Europe on the most deranged road trip he could ever imagine. And this is the story of how he reached Scandinavia on a super tight budget. Uh, if we ignore those 400 euros, but we will get there. Greetings, cousins! Show me your cat! Can I test a nice little invention of my nephew? No! no. My fellow humans, I bid you welcome to the second episode of Chronicles of Wet Socks. If you haven't seen the first, eh, who cares? It's not important, keep on watching. But do you remember when I said that the, the sole purpose of this trip was to inflict suffering upon myself and that I hate crowds? Well, this guy brought me to the Oktoberfest after forcing me to dress up in this ridiculous outfit. Not that it's difficult to convince me to wear silly clothes. Anyway, I had a good time! So many lights! Oh my god! Sensory overload! Ho ho ho! Your friend must be really drunk! Oh uh, no, he doesn't drink alcohol. Yippee! What? I know, I know. And of course, we had to get inside one of the tents to live the true visa experience. That was a bit less exciting. And then disaster struck. My neurodivergent friends out there may relate, but you know when you are trying to do something important but you have 84 tabs open in your browser, your brain is playing crab rave or repeat and for some reason you can't stop thinking about beavers? <sighs> Roll the clip. I just realized that I wasted 400 euros on a wrong booking for Berlin and that money is gone. I will never see it again. But there's a lesson in stoicism to be learned here. I will not let this affect my mood. I'm peaceful, I'm calm. In any case, I'm leaving for Norway. Wanna come? Mm, why not? Uh, do you need time to prepare or something? Nah, let's go. Do you want to read my report on how to deal with a moose attack during the reproductive season? I'm fine. I need my help. And so we reached Prague, which left me really impressed, with one notable exception. Before arriving, I read on a website that when the astronomical clock in the city center strikes a full hour, there's an exciting show of moving statues and mechanical wonders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be fair to my Czech brothers, it's still the coolest clock I've ever seen. It's just that I fell victim of a clickbait article and expected something different. Look, I even said good boy to the dog on Kalluf's Moss, so we're still friends, right? Yes, despite being loud and obnoxious, somehow I'm still sensitive to noise. Fight me. Also, crowds. Next stop, Berlin. Ah ah, not so fast. Berlin is already quite chaotic, so why don't we spice things up by closing half of the main streets for the annual marathon? And guess where your hotel is? Right in the middle. Go on, you speak the language, talk to people. Wait, didn't you study German last year? Ah, Servus, seriously, how did you survive 29 years with that much social anxiety? Heh, barely. Guten Abend, Schnitzel auf die Lebensraum? Jawohl, Ausfahrt Kuba Liebe. Und Ihnen? Uh, the, the same. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Cheers! Ew, what is this? Um, that's just pure rum. You have to mix a bit of that in the coke. Oh. Uh-oh, did you just get drunk? <laughs> no, I'm a big boy, I can handle a bit of rum. Avast, ye scurvy land lover! Hoist the Jolly Roger for Weeby Band to Tortuga! May the Queen of England birth in Davy Jones' locker! Ahem, let's just pretend that 
never happened. I will now distract you with 6 seconds of me getting angry at German pillows. Again. So the following day I woke up with a bit of a headache, probably because of the pillow and not the run, but still we took a nice walk in the city and... Uh, Why is everything in Berlin under construction? <laughs> Now, so far we have enjoyed some laughter and carefree entertainment, but I think it's time to sit down for a while and talk seriously about the dark side of Berlin. Because, yeah, sure, there are the monuments and art and history, but if I think about Berlin, none of that is the first thing that comes to my mind. And I believe that every person who wants to visit the city has to be aware of its potential dangers. Bicycles! I developed a PTSD! It's common sense not to stand on bicycle lanes, but if you think that's gonna keep you safe, HA! You've never been to Berlin! Here cyclists have no survival instinct! It doesn't matter if you are alone on the road, or on the sidewalk, or hiding in a bunker, no no no, you will hear this! And if you do, you are a dead man! You will turn around and the last thing you will ever see will be a brightly colored bike helmet heading towards you at Mach 5. During the next 15 seconds, the aspiring kamikaze is going to chase you down and do their absolute best to slam against you at top speed and kill you both. They are insane! On a more positive note, capybaras! Capybara, 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 capybara! Look at this dude! Cute! And now for a game of how many flags can be upside down in my hotel hall! Seriously, how hard can it be? Just Google them! Speak! Where is he? Well, I'm not going to tell you. Unless you ask nicely. God, I hate when you do that. Fine, fine. Hello, number four. It's been a while. Would you be so kind to tell us where Lord Blood is located right now? Sure. Last time I checked, it was headed towards Potsdam. Where the hell is Potsdam? It's just outside Berlin and totally worth a visit. Except for the construction works, but that has to be expected at this point. Lübeck is also pretty cute, but more importantly, it's on the Baltic Sea, and that means it's the perfect occasion to expand my ranking of the world's oceans, based on taste. <laughs> taste test! Mm. 5 out of 10 with a bonus point because a seagull stole the pouch of a woman on the beach and flew away. And that was pretty entertaining. Following the feathered bandit, we sailed across the sea until we reached Denmark, the land of happy plugs made specifically to lure children into getting electrocuted. Oh, hello internet traveler, today is your lucky day, because by liking this video and subscribing to the channel, you have unlocked a free lesson of Danish with Lord Blood. Today we're going to learn the accurate pronunciation of four different words that will prove essential during your next trip to Copenhagen. Let's suppose a fire breaks out in a shopping mall. First, call for help by shouting help, help. Then leave the building, but make sure to read the sign on the door to know if you have to truck or trek. Finally, wait outside and watch the fire while eating a nice smörrebröd. They are mwah, so good. Fueled by smörrebröd and the worst buffers we ever had, it's not Denmark's fault, I buy garbage. We went for a relaxing stroll around the gorgeous canals. So nice. We've been walking all day, why don't you just sit down for a minute? Don't be ridiculous! I already sat down yesterday! Yippee for Sweden! Yippee for meatballs! Yippee for elevators with no safety door! Not yippee for museums that are closed on weekdays. Uh, yippee for ugly statues, I guess? 
Talk to the woman! You speak the language! I speak German, not Swedish. It's the same! <sighs> and finally, after so much blood and sweat, Norway. And when I say blood, I mean it, but no amount of blisters or lunches entirely based on baby bell and canel bural will take away the satisfaction of reaching my goal. And to celebrate, we slept in a really fancy hotel with a view over the city and a free sauna and 20 euros margarita pizzas and pianos and fireplaces. This place is too nice. Hello, Norway. I love you already, but we need to talk. I need you to explain who in the right mind will build a shower with a perfectly flat floor and no bloody door. Where do you think the water will go except f***ing everywhere? Despite the questionable plumbing, I fell in love with Oslo. The trees, the parking spots that cost half my salary, the weird art, the people jogging, maybe to stay healthy or maybe because they left their car instead parking spots, the needlessly graphic construction work signs, more weird art, the city center that overlooks the fjord, everything is just so gorgeous. But I didn't drive 3000 kilometers to stop in Oslo, oh no! Editor, put on a dreamy music! We are driving to the fjords! Don't let travel vloggers fool you. A long road trip is not really about sightseeing, it's more about rapidly spiraling down towards insanity. Fuck all the ships! Fuck all the ships! Hey look! Here deer can jump up to one kilometer! And moose up to six! Wow! Home? Cows? Mountains! The spiraling gets really fast when you have to cross what has been for 20 years the longest tunnel in the world. Ma guarda qua, che bello sto tunnel! <laughs> we reached the fjords! How cool is that? Ah, uh, well, it could be worse. My socks have never been so wet. Bello sto fjordo! Well, okay, we were a bit unlucky, but we managed to eat two horrible defrosted pizzas for just 32 euros! I mean, we managed to visit a gorgeous waterfall, and it was not like we could get more damp and miserable, so... Yay! Do you know what's worse than being wet? Being cold. Luckily, our next stop was Bergen, which is famous for its pleasant weather. There's a little wind in Bergen! Horrible thing supposed to be my same species? Pfft. Story time! We were quite literally chilling in Belgium when I decided I really wanted to own a 5 kroner coin. They are shiny and have a hole! That sounds simple, unless you have the habit of only paying with your credit card and never have cash in your wallet. Ah, once again I'm a victim of technology! But just as I finished my critique of modern economics, a ray of light shined upon a small silver coin on the ground. I'm not joking, that is exactly what happened. The gods are on my side! I excitedly picked up my new coin when I realized. It was 50 groshi. Norwegian? No, from Poland. This is such a perfect representation of my life. <laughs> My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Let's grab something sweet. Greetings, merchant! Provide pastry! Oh, are you French? I am what? You sound French! How dare you call me French, you off brand Viking! I am the blood of Julius Caesar and Leonardo da Vinci! To offset the clear hostility of the local population and to reward all my efforts during the previous month, Bergen decided to give me a present. One of the 
biggest dreams of my life has always been to see the Northern Lights. And while we were heading back to the hotel, I received a notification on my phone. That night, there would be perfect conditions to see one of the most spectacular shows on Earth. Psych! We spent the whole evening freezing our butts in front of the ocean for absolutely nothing. <sighs> spend the night chasing auroras and nothing to be seen. Just a lot of cold. The following day, I almost broke my leg visiting a church that would be familiar to black metal fans and arsonists alike, and later I had to bring Pietro to the airport. And it's always very sad to say goodbye to a friend. <laughs> now I will have to talk to people! In the next episode of Chronicles of Wet Socks, there is something profoundly wrong with me. <laughs> what are you, ashamed of yourself? I did have a knife. Wake up, work, explore, wake up, work, explore. I accidentally got into a military zone. What is going on? Are you all right? There is no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. <laughs> Don't stop, please.